The Canton Police Department is trying to solve and deter crime by putting surveillance trailers into neighborhoods. Now, overall, Canton's crime numbers have been dropping since 2021. But in that time, there have been 46 homicides, nearly 400 robberies, and just over 3,000 assaults. The police chief believes the new mobile trailers with cameras can make a future dent in crime. Only on News 5, Bob Jones talks with neighbors and looks at possible privacy concerns. Carissa and George Archer and their three kids have lived in the northwest section of Canton for several years, and at times, crime keeps them up at night. Shooting, drugs, people stealing stuff, the whole nine yards. And so the family welcomes the new police surveillance trailer stationed this week around the corner from their home. It gives me a peace of mind that way I know, you know, if, if it is deterring them, they're not going to want to come in the neighborhood. Canton police purchased two of the safety trailers equipped with two cameras each for $81,000. A grant covered most of the costs. The trailers first popped up during the Hall of Fame Festival last week, but now the mobile surveillance systems are rotating through Canton neighborhoods. The only thing that's driving it is the need to continuously look for ways to improve our response to the community. In the real-time crime center, analysts can monitor movements if a crime occurs or use license plate readers on the trailers to watch a suspect's vehicle. We can review it, we can download it, we can save it. Um, it helps investigators with generating investigative leads, helping officers with situational awareness. When Canton police move the trailers to different neighborhoods, they put these flyers on the front doors of nearby homes. It reads in part, locations for these cameras are generally selected based on complaints received about disturbances, suspicious activity, and other neighborhood concerns. But the ACLU is raising some worries about the surveillance trailers, saying the system could be an invasion of privacy, may push crime elsewhere, and there's no state law governing how they're used. Chief John Gabbard understands the concerns, but stresses the trailers are overt, not hidden from the public. It only records public areas, areas that you would see in the public. There are no cameras ever directed into somebody's house. They're not set up to record any kind of audio. So we don't record conversations. I don't think it's a privacy issue. I think it's a better issue for us because then we're more protected. The chief says the trailers are so new he hasn't heard positive or negative feedback, but welcomes input. But the only way it can deter crime is if we advertise how effective it is. In Canton, Bob Jones, News 5. Okay, so you may remember this. Canton rejected another effort at fighting crime just a few years ago. This was back in 2019. City leaders spotted using, uh, stopped rather, using shot spotter technology. Critics said the system costs too much and doesn't cover enough ground. Instead, Canton reached an agreement with a company out of Maryland called Y Fiber. The equipment for the new system includes shot detectors, license plate readers, and Wi Fi connected cameras that can pan, tilt, and zoom. Canton became the very first city in our state to use that new system.